Afroasiatic. The Afroasiatic language family is one of the most ancient and widely distributed linguistic groups, encompassing more than 300 languages spoken by roughly half a billion people across North Africa, the Horn of Africa, the Sahel, and parts of the Middle East. The precise homeland of Afroasiatic remains debated, with leading hypotheses situating it in the Horn of Africa, Northeast Africa, or the Levant. Its six recognized branches, Semitic, Berber, Chadic, Hushitic, Omotic, and Egyptian, illustrate immense internal diversity developed over several millennia of separation and contact. The Afroasiatic family has played a central role in shaping early human civilizations, providing the linguistic foundation for cultures such as ancient Egypt, Carthage, Aksum, and Mesopotamia. Many Afroasiatic languages possess long written traditions, ranging from hieroglyphic Egyptian texts and Sabaean inscriptions to the Arabic and Gaeus scripts still in use today. Historical linguists continue to study Afroasiatic to reconstruct early human migration routes, trade networks, and the diffusion of technologies such as agriculture and metallurgy across Northern Africa and Western Asia. Niger Congo. The Niger Congo language family is the largest in Africa and possibly the world in both the number of languages and total speakers. It comprises over 1,500 languages spoken by more than 700 million people across West, Central, and Southern Africa, extending from Senegal and Nigeria to Mozambique and South Africa. Linguistic and archaeological evidence suggests an early homeland near the Niger or Benue River Basin, from which ancestral languages diversified over thousands of years. The family is internally complex, consisting of major subgroups such as Atlantic Congo, Mande, Gur, Kru, Kwa, and Kordofanian. The Bantu branch, a significant offshoot, spread widely across Central and Southern Africa, but is only one component of this vast family. Niger-Congo languages exhibit remarkable lexical and tonal diversity, reflecting adaptation to varied environments and long histories of regional contact. Many have developed into regional lingua francas, including Swahili, Yoruba, Igbo, Wolof, and Fula, serving as key instruments of interethnic communication. Scholars view Niger-Congo as central to understanding Africa's prehistoric migrations, agricultural transitions, and cultural networks that linked communities across the continent long before recorded history. Bantu. The Bantu languages form one of the most extensive and influential branches of the Niger-Congo language family, encompassing over 500 related languages spoken by an estimated 300 to 400 million people across Central, Eastern, and Southern Africa. The Bantu expansion, which began around 3,000 to 4,000 years ago near the Nigeria-Cameroon borderlands, represents one of the most significant population movements in pre-modern human history. Through gradual migration and interaction, Bantu-speaking communities spread agricultural practices, ironworking, and social organization across much of sub-Saharan Africa. Major Bantu languages include Swahili, Zulu, Shona, Kikuyu, Luganda, and Kinyarwanda, many of which serve as regional or national lingua francas. Despite extensive internal diversity, Bantu languages share notable similarities in noun class systems, verb structure, and sound patterns, reflecting their common ancestry. The historical spread of Bantu languages profoundly shaped Africa's demographic and cultural map, blending with indigenous hunter-gatherer and pastoralist populations. Bantu languages remain vital to identity, oral literature, and political life throughout Africa, symbolizing the deep interconnection between linguistic continuity and the continent's social evolution over millennia. Nilo-Saharan The Nilo-Saharan language family is one of Africa's most debated linguistic groupings. Proposed in the mid-20th century by Joseph Greenberg, it encompasses more than 200 languages spoken across a vast region of Central and Eastern Africa, stretching from Chad and Sudan to Uganda, Kenya, and Northern Tanzania. Many scholars argue that Nilo-Saharan may represent several distinct lineages that share features through contact rather than descent. Despite this uncertainty, Nilo-Saharan languages form an important cultural and historical bridge between the Sahel and the Upper Nile regions. Notable members include Kanuri, Dinka, Nuer, Luo, Maasai, and Songhai spoken by diverse pastoralist, fishing, and farming communities. These languages have played key roles in the development of Nilotic and Central Sudanic civilizations and in the spread of pastoral and riverine economies. Ongoing comparative work seeks to identify consistent grammatical and lexical correspondences that could confirm or refute their unity. Regardless of its internal classification, the Nilo-Saharan hypothesis remains central to understanding Africa's linguistic evolution and prehistoric patterns of migration across the continent's interior. Khoisan. The Khoisan languages represent one of Africa's most distinctive and historically intriguing linguistic groupings, though their classification as a single family is highly contested. Traditionally used to describe several languages of Southern Africa characterized by click consonants, the term Khoisan now functions more as a convenient typological label 
than is evidence of common ancestry. Modern research tends to divide these languages into at least three independent families, Kuikwadi, Ju, and Tu, with no definitive proof of genetic relationship. Khoisan languages are spoken primarily in Namibia, Botswana, and parts of South Africa, mostly among small communities of Kuko and San peoples. Many are endangered or near extinction, reflecting centuries of displacement and cultural assimilation. Despite their limited number of speakers, these languages preserve invaluable insights into early human linguistic diversity. Phonetically, they are remarkable for their complex sound systems and use of click consonants, which have also influenced neighboring Bantu languages like Zulu and Xhosa. Linguists study the Khoisan group not only for its unique phonological structures, but also for clues about the earliest stages of human speech in sub-Saharan Africa. Austronesian Although the Austronesian language family is native to islands Southeast Asia and the Pacific, it has a significant African presence through Malagasy, the national language of Madagascar. Malagasy is unique. It is the only Austronesian language spoken on the African continent, representing a linguistic and genetic link between Africa and maritime Southeast Asia. Comparative linguistic evidence places its origins within the burrito languages of southern Borneo, with early seafarers believed to have settled Madagascar around 1,500 to 2,000 years ago. Over centuries, Malagasy evolved through contact with Bantu, Arabic, and French, producing a language with a distinctly Austronesian grammatical base, but extensive African and Indian Ocean vocabulary layers. This blend mirrors Madagascar's cultural and biological diversity, shaped by migration and trade across the Indian Ocean Basin. Malagasy provides strong evidence for ancient transoceanic navigation and settlement, demonstrating that pre-modern Austronesian sailors possessed remarkable maritime capabilities. Its continued evolution reflects the island's position as both a linguistic outlier in Africa and a bridge between African and Asian civilizations. Indo-European The Indo-European language family, though not indigenous to Africa, has become deeply embedded in the continent's linguistic and cultural landscape through colonial expansion, trade, and migration over the past five centuries. Originating in Eurasia, Indo-European languages spread to Africa primarily during the European colonial era, beginning in the late 15th century. Today, they serve as official, educational, and administrative languages in many African nations, often coexisting with native tongues and multilingual societies. Major Indo-European languages in Africa include English, French, Portuguese, Spanish, and Afrikaans, each linked to specific colonial histories, English in Nigeria, Kenya, and South Africa, French across much of West and Central Africa, Portuguese in Angola and Mozambique, and Afrikaans in Southern Africa as a locally developed derivative of Dutch. These languages function as lingua francas, enabling cross-ethnic communication and access to global institutions, but they also reflect enduring legacies of colonial hierarchy and cultural exchange. Despite their external origins, Indo-European languages have been localized through African speech patterns, vocabulary, and identity, illustrating the continent's capacity to redefine external linguistic influences within indigenous contexts.